Setting the bar stories are what, Kelly? Examples of what not to do or situations we hope you don't find yourself in. You got it. Look, we've all jokingly threatened to do something we weren't serious about, right? Uh Uh-huh. So if you can manage to make it through the day without threatening to nuke campus, if your football team doesn't win, you're doing okay. Ooh, that's kind of aggressive. That's an aggressive way to react to the loss of a game. Uh, Especially when there is actually a nuclear reactor on campus. Oh, gosh. Yeah. That does add some credibility. So Meredith, she goes to the University of Utah. Does she still? (laughs) Uh, As far as we know, she does, yeah. Okay. Uh, She uh, had the unfortunate luck of getting on Yik Yak. That's like a social media app. And posting that if they don't win their football game, she was going to detonate this school's nuclear reactor. Well, that puts a little pressure on the team now, doesn't it? (laughs) Guys, we got to win. I mean, do they need that mindset going into the game? I don't think so. Yeah. um, Here is the interim police chief, Jason, talking about it. It would be impossible to detonate the reactor on campus. This one is unique because it's never been a threat to the reactor, even if they're completely incapable of carrying out the threat or if the threat is made but an attempt is not it, it's still the same charge if it was meant as a joke which you know given the wording of the actual post if the Utes don't win i think it is a good message to be careful and and uh think before you post yeah that's a good lesson here it is think before you post we all need to tuck that in our little back pocket right even if we're not you know threatening to nuke a university. Here's the good news. They actually did win the game, 35 oh, to 17. So See, they don't have to worry about anything. Then. Yeah, none of this had to be carried out. So <laughs> Right. Well, that's good news. But right. also good to know that even if we know your threat couldn't actually be carried out, still a problem. Yeah, because she now faces one count of threat of terrorism, a second degree felony. So Ooh. that that's some big that's a big thing to have on your record. So that is going to follow you a yep. little bit. Yeah. So this is a lesson that we can all learn that look, you know what? I know U of L is playing tomorrow. They got yeah. a, they got a game at noon. They're playing University of South Florida. We know you want them to win. Yes. But let's not put threats on the team if it doesn't go your way. Yeah, so there you go. Great setting the bar story here on 99.7 DJX.